Hey guys, this is Abhishek and uh, in this video we will see how we can utilize the power of R for creation of linear regression. So you have already seen how you can create the linear regression and now we will use R to create a linear regression. So let's go to R. So before I move ahead, quick information if you are really interested in learning about linear regression you can visit the website onlinecourse.science.psu.edu forward slash stats 501 slash node slash 250 so it has a very good definition of what the linear regression is and a lot of different topics because it is a very wide subject uh, and not thoroughly covered in this course because my objective is to show you how you can execute it with the help of W and R but if you are really interested in learning the theory that's where I see or I prefer with like whenever I have any doubt or I have to revisit something I go here okay so let's go to first of all R and uh, here we have I have already started the R service by first of all importing the library R serve and then executing the function R serve all right so once we are there then what we can do is uh, we can come to tableau and in the tableau we will import the excel file so i'll just click on the excel and uh, i'll go to my tableau where my file is and import the sales so once we import it we'll drag the orders data over here and it has some information like uh, order id order date order priority quantity sales discount ship mode and a lot of different fields so what i'll do is come back here in sheet i have dimensions over here and measures over here so the objective of uh, this particular video is to identify the profit based on the sales and product based margin so, so far you have seen that uh, we have just used one single variable to identify the either predicted sales or profit in the previous video. But now we are extending and seeing the two different variables to predict one particular variable. So, to revisit, we will going to predict the profit based on product based margin and sales. And let's connect our W with R. So, for that go to help setting and performance manage external service connection once i click here this should be your parameter local host since we are running on local machine and then the port should be 6311 click on the test connection you should get this message successfully connected to the r serve service click ok and ok after that to write the algorithm or to write the function for the prediction go to analysis create calculated field and in that uh, what we will going to write is the name of the calculated field as predicted profit because profit is already present and since we are predicting it we will write predict profit and then we will write script underscore real so I will come down to this third press tab and start the double quotation press the enter another enter and uh, we want to predict it based on the so we want to predict the profit so first of all let me write the profit sum of profit based on sum of sales and the product base margin so these are the three fields we want to predict profit based on sum of sales and product base margin so what I will going to do to simplify and not make our script too much technical I will take these parameters sum of profit, sum of sales, sum of product based margin into variables. So how I can do that first of all I will write x variable x and then this notation. This notation basically is an assignment notation within the R even you can use equal to but uh, mostly uh, when you are an experienced R programmer or a regular R programmer you tend to use this assignment operator so it's good that you come into this habit so assignment of arg1 so when I'm saying arg1 
what happening is sum of profit is going into x semicolon then similarly y dot r2 now sales is going into the the sum of sales is going into the y and then z as dot r3 now the product sum of product case margin is going into the z now let's create the linear regression function so for that i will say linrag i am creating an object to store the output of the linear regression and the method is lm linear model within the r open and close the parenthesis and what we need to write is now x because x is representing profit so we will write x and then tilde sign to create the formula y plus z so what is happening over here we are specifying within the linear model function of r that we want to predict the profit x based on the sales sales is coming from here which is argument 2 first second this is the argument 2 which is y and then as well as based on the third argument which is here in z and represent the product based margin all right once you are there then what you need to do is just write the lindrack to get the fitted value or the predicted uh, fitted values based on this model so it's a very simple script as you can see uh, but initially uh, it, it will give you a little tough time but uh, uh, if you will follow this particular method of uh, saving the argument into variable and then using that variable your method or your expression will be less technical and more familiar and user friendly for you as well as anyone who is creating that so only thing you need to remember is that these are three different argument argument one argument two argument three and it's represented by dot notation dot arg one dot arg two dot arg three and by this way using the assignment operator of r you can assign the new variable so that it becomes a little less technical when you are specifying into a linear model function or any other r related function okay so let's click apply and okay to come back all right so now what i want to do is uh, uh, let's say i want uh, region over here on my rows and uh, then i want profit over here and uh, then i want predicted profit okay so it will take a couple of seconds and now i have profit and i have predicted profit as you can see somehow it is similar but as you can see for Nunavut uh, it's comparatively high uh, as compared to the original value but that happens when you're actually trying to predict uh, it, it's not always uh, absolute value because then it's a different issue altogether but it should be near to the reality so what I'll do is uh, I will just uh, make it on the same axis and for that I will right click over here and uh, say dual axis so it will come on the same axis the both charts all right so what happens here is uh, it's on the dual axis and I think it's pretty much in sync but just to make sure it's sync I will click on synchronize axis okay and uh, this is representing predicted profit this is representing original profit so here in case of Atlantic here is my actual profit but what we predicted based on the sales and profit margin it should be here right and uh, but in case of uh, west what we are seeing that uh, based on the sales and product base margin your profit should be higher but it is less so it, this basically uh, creates more questions about what it is really happening in such cases now to better represent it what i can do is i can take my profit which is here sum of profit and change from automatic to bar chart so that I have a better representation it will take again a couple of seconds and now you can clearly see that the bar representing the actual profit and these dot notation these circles are representing the uh, predicted profit and in the in this case in some cases it's very close like here 
even here it's very very close q back and uh, yeah but in in a case of west or in case of uh, nunavut it's pretty far so that that triggers more questions as i mentioned and you can investigate what's really happening over there but this is a quick way by which you can use the predicted values on the chart and then you know uh, to do your data analysis the next piece i will show you uh, a different way about how you can use that so i'm creating a sheet too and uh, what i'm doing is i'm writing the sum of profit over here of Take the profit over here and uh, predicted profit over here and uh, what I'm doing is I'm again taking the region over here and uh, it will take a couple of seconds to do all that calculation and now as you can see the profit and predicted profits are coming on the x and y axis and here we have the different region but it's not calculating properly because you are only getting the regions but what you need is the values so to present the values what you can do is come over here uh, say compute using region and now it will represent the values properly for the uh, different regions so um, after that uh, what we can do is we can uh, put a regression line so right click trend line show trend line and once we show the trend line you will see that basically represent uh, opposite in this case so what I'll do is quickly I need to just change the and put some of profit over here because it was taking it a bit opposite yeah now it is good so this line basically tells how well your uh, fit line is as compared to your uh, predicted values the actual and predicted values and uh, if there is any relation alternatively you can use other dimension to see how well this particular formula is fitting your values so for example you have product category put it here on the color and you will see the different line for furniture office supplies and technology for the profit calculation so that's that's about it uh, how you can create and use the multiple dimensions to predict the values and see how well your model is working.